hi there welcome to the happy chicken coop youtube channel thanks for joining me today we are going to go over the black star chicken and everything you need to know about that chicken breed before i get into that please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel also be sure to subscribe to our website thehappychickencoop.com if you subscribe using the link in the description you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So the Black Star Chicken is a relatively recent addition to the backyard chicken world. This breed was created to lay a huge amount of eggs to satisfy the grocery needs of the expanding population in the 1950s. However, these days, you are most likely to find them on homesteads. Let's dive into the history and background of the Black Star Chicken. The Black Star Chicken was created not long after the Second World War ended in 1945. It wasn't long before many of the troops started to arrive home and refugees were heading for America to start a new life. Some foods were already rationed, so the influx of people really stretched resources quite thinly. In order to help combat this, poultry scientists were crossing and recrossing various breeds to try and make the hens into super layers. The Black Star was one of those breeds created at the time. The crossing of the barred Plymouth Rock hen with a Rhode Island Red or New Hampshire male was a blessed marriage. Hens not only performed very well in egg laying trials, but it was also what is called sex linked. What does that mean exactly? Sex linked chicks are produced by two separate breeds. The breeds are usually a Rhode Island Red or New Hampshire Rooster mated with a barred Plymouth Rock Hen. The combination of the genes from the parents produce all black female chicks and the males are all black but have a white spot on the head. There is no mistaking the gender of these chicks upon their arrival. Because of this, they are known as black beauty or black sex links. Since those times, the black star hasn't looked back. She remains one of the most prolific egg layers and a backyard favorite. Now let's dive into the appearance. They are medium sized chickens with roosters weighing around seven to eight pounds each and hens around five pounds. They have a single comb that is red as are the wattles and earlobes. In plumage, the appearance of the boys and girls is striking. The hens will feather out with mainly black feather with the occasional gold flecking mainly on the breast area. The black star roosters will feather out somewhat like barred rocks. There is no mistaking a rooster for a hen with this breed. The leg of both sexes are clean and yellow in color with four toes to each foot. They have an upright carriage with a tail held at the perky high angle. The outline is somewhat rectangular in shape. As far as the standard breed goes, it's hybrid. So there is no standard of perfection for this chicken. If you breed two together, you will not get a black star chick. What you will have is a different hybrid. All right, now let's talk about the disposition. This little egg superstar is a docile and very hardy little bird. It's adaptable, thrifty, and low maintenance since they can adapt to local conditions, be it hot or cold or in between. They're friendly and curious and can be cuddly if you raise them so. They are good with children also. In general, they are quiet birds with a sweet disposition, only raising their voices when singing the egg song. They love the forage if allowed, but they adapt very well to confinement as well. They are not a nervous or flighty breed, so they live together peacefully for the most part. Now let's talk about the eggs, broodiness, and feeding. The Black Star will lay around five eggs per week. That's about 250 eggs per year. A lovable egg machine. The Black Star lays eggs that are brown and large to extra large in size. They are not known for being broody, although one will occasionally set, but generally they are not reliable setters as they are a production hen, they are only built to last an extreme egg laying for about two years. Any offspring will not breed true. Remember, they are a product of two different breeds. If you hatch the egg, you will get a mutt chick, not a black star. More on this in a bit. They also have a great feed conversion ratio also. What is that? You may ask. Well, the simplest way I could put it is how much feed did the hen need to eat in order to give you X number of eggs in a given period? Now, admittedly, it's a bit silly doing a feed conversion ratio on our backyard hens, but large poultry enterprises use this to judge how thrifty hens are and then pass the information down to us chicken people. If you are a hardcore homesteader, you will appreciate knowing the FCR. But if you have two hens in your yard for pleasure, don't really pay much attention to it. Now let's talk about the known health issues. For the most part, they're remarkably healthy and robust. They tolerate cold and heat as long as they have shelter and food. Like many other production hens, they have a tendency to suffer from reproductive issues like egg yolk peritonitis, egg binding, and cancer. These problems usually start showing up after one year of age. Sadly, this is to be expected as nature never intended that their system would be in constant production. So is this the right chicken for you? It's a very suitable chicken for the backyard. As I've already noted, they can tolerate confinement well. And as long as they have required chicken space, they will thrive. You can free range them. They will do a good job of removing unwanted pests from your garden, but be sure to fence off areas where you don't want them to be. Otherwise, you may find your garden destroyed. A couple of these industrious hens will keep a family and eggs very nicely. In fact, you may be giving eggs away. They are a quiet, docile breed, which makes them good for kids to interact with and a blessing for your neighbors. 
If you've raised them as cuddly pets, they will reciprocate with cuddles and lap sitting and can become very tame indeed. Black Stars are one of the most inexpensive chicks you can buy, coming in at around $3. Since they are quite common in the hatcheries breed lots of them every year, the price has remained remarkably low for some time. So to summarize, they're a very nice bird for urban or suburban yards. They're quiet, productive, and friendly. They really don't require a huge amount of area to roam in. As well, as I already mentioned, two hens will supply an abundance of eggs for the family. Although they are known to be a dual purpose hen, not too many folks actually use the meat from the bird. So there you have it, the Black Star, a product of the 1950s and still going strong. Do you keep these superstars in your flock? Let us know in the comment section below. That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.